Hello and welcome back to this channel. So today we're going to create these awesome looking strawberries using a different kind of brush in Adobe Fresco. So let's just get started. I'm going to go ahead and click on custom size. And in here, I want to create my own set of width and height for this. So I want the artboard to be really huge because if I make it like really huge, then I can upload it to print on demand sites and stuff like that. And also I want it to be square so that I can upload it to Instagram without having to cut off the edges. So I'm going to rename my document. Just click on this and rename it. You don't really have to do this, but if you want, you can. And then make sure you select pixels. Let's click here and give 6,000 and 6,000. And print size, let's change this to 300. And let's create document. Okay, so now go ahead and bring in the sketch. You don't really need it. I didn't use it initially when I drew this, but it's always good to get a sketch if you feel uncomfortable doing it on a blank canvas. And also get in your color palette while you're right there. You can find the link for the sketch and the color palette in the description box below. Once you bring in the sketch, make sure you click on levels and reduce the opacity and convert this to multiply. Let's bring in the color palette now. Now let's choose all the colors and put them in our most recent tab. Click and hold to select and make a mark on your artboard. Once you're done, delete the layer with the mark and uncheck the layer with the color palette. Okay, so let's just start drawing. Go back to the sketch layer and go below the sketch layer. If you don't have a new layer here, click on plus so to create a new layer. And now let's go ahead and select our most favorite tool. That's the selection tool. So the strawberries are going to be in such a way that two of them are going to be reddish and one is going to be blue. Blue because I know strawberries are not really blue in color, but I thought it's really nice to have a contrast or a different colored item in there to just give it a I don't know. It's it's your artwork. Give it any color you want. You can even make it green or yellow or purple if you want. So let's start with these two strawberries, which seem to be on the top. Make sure you are in this option and not any other option. Let's go ahead and select this strawberry like this. And we'll do the same thing here. You can use your two finger tap to undo anything, even the selection. Okay, once you have selected those two, let's go to brushes. And for this artwork, I'm going to go into dry media and I'll be using Conte crayon to color and I'll be using rough pencil to give finer details. So let's click on Conte crayon and go to red. That's the lighter red or the middle red that we have. And uh, I'm going to set this to, let me just check. Okay, the highest possible. That's 1800. So one thing you should know is that this artboard is set as 6000 into 6000 pixel. That's a huge artboard. So 1800 would give you a stroke, something like this. But if you have a smaller artboard, then 1800 would be too much. So you have to adjust the brush size according to your artboard size. Okay. So let's go ahead and draw something like this. Don't fill up everything. Let's just do some random strokes. Now let's go ahead and go to the darker one. And I want something here, something here as well, like that. And let's go to the lighter pink here and draw a bit so that we fill up the space. See my brush strokes? I'm just giving random brush strokes. You can give it like that. And maybe I want the pink a little bit to shine through like that. Okay, that looks good to me. This should be okay. So our two strawberries are now ready. Okay, now it's time to add finer details. So let's go ahead and go back to our brush tool and click on rough pencil. We're gonna choose white. And let me check the brush size now. It's set to 46. So I'm gonna go ahead and make some marks like this. On both the strawberries. You can give some on the edges as well. And once you're done, click on deselect. Now let's click on new layer and bring this below this red strawberry layer. That's because the blue strawberry is behind the red strawberry. Go back to your selection tool and let's do the same thing for this strawberry. And for this, let's go back to our contact crayon and click on the dark blue that you have. And let's mark something 
here like this. And let's go to the lighter blue and like that. So I want a color in between these two. So I'm just going to go ahead and maybe make it a little darker. No, not exactly. So let's choose this, bring it down. That's okay. A little darker. That looks good. I'm gonna add a bit here. Don't worry, I'm gonna go back to the dark blue again and fill in. Like that. Okay, now it looks good to me. And let's go to white. Go back to your rough pencil and let's do this. Okay. That looks good as well. Click on deselect. So now we're going to go ahead and work on leaves. So leaves are going to be the same way. And as you can see, these two leaves are below all these strawberries. So we're going to click on a new layer and bring it all the way down here. So for leaves, I've chosen some greens. So let's go ahead to the contact crayon again. And let's go to our lighter screen here. Not the lightest, but one above that. Use your selection tool and make sure you choose this leaf. Go back to your brush tool and let's just color it like this. And take the darker green or yeah, this one, the darkest one. Give it like that. And we'll take the middle green that we have and give it a bit like this. Okay. And now let's go ahead and use the lightest one and go back to your rough pencil. And make sure you are in the selection because this is really important for this. For strawberries, it was not necessary to be in the selection mode because you were not actually going out of artboard for this. I'm going to draw like that. And the size of the brush is still at 46. I'm not changing anything. And that's it. Click on deselect. Let's do the same thing for the other leaf, but it should be below this leaf layer. I'm going to add a bit of green here so that this pops up because I gave dark green there. So I just want to make sure that it's visible. I could give this green as well. Okay. That looks good. Deselect. And I want to draw one more leaf here because I don't see it here. So it's not in the sketch, but we're going to eyeball it and draw it. We'll draw it on the same layer. It does not matter. Now it's time to draw the ones on top. So we can draw all three of them in one single layer. So let's go ahead and go above the strawberries layer and click on new layer. And let's do the same thing here. I'm going to select all three leaves at one shot. But I think this space here is a little blank. So let's go ahead and add a leaf over there as well. Click on a new layer, bring it below the three green leaves. Let's do that. Deselect. But as you can see, this is overlapping the strawberry. So we're going to bring it below the red strawberry layer so that it's all nice and neat. Okay, so the only thing left to do is to add a background and to add the stock. So let's go ahead to the bottom most layer and actually to the image layer. That's a background layer. Click on a new layer. And in here, you're going to go ahead and use the selection tool again and do something like this.
But to add this, I'm gonna go ahead and add that as well. And we'll go to our darkest green that we have and then use the contact crayon and just draw like that. By the way, you can also go ahead and make it a little darker and add in a little bit here and there. Not everywhere though, make sure that you don't put it everywhere. Just a little bit here and there, just to have this uh, special texture on your, you know, stock. And click on deselect. And now let's draw the strawberries, which is still pending. So for this, you have to go above the strawberry layer. And let's go ahead and choose our selection tool again. And let's just draw like that. Do the same thing here. But I see that I forgot to draw the stalk. We shall have to do that later. And this one, let's do it in the bottom layer. But here, let's go back and choose the darkest green that we had. Not the darkest, the darker one. And go back to your contact crayon and just draw. Like I told you, you can go back to your black and add some textures here and there. Just so that it looks better. Okay, deselect. And now let's go ahead and draw this strawberry. Click on a new layer. Okay, I'm gonna make this completely black or the darker screen. Probably not. Give the stop a little bit like that so that it blends in with the stock. Click on deselect. And now let's go ahead and go below this leaf layer because that's really important. So you just go back to the stock layer, draw this stock. So click on that. Like that. And just draw. But you can't see this because we are below this leaf layer. Not too sure. Is it this one? It's probably this one. So I'm just going to go ahead and bring it all the way below the stock layer. So now you can actually see it. Click on deselect and then you're ready with everything. So let's go ahead and uncheck the sketch now. And let's add some background. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this and click on new layer. So you don't have to add a background. It's totally optional, but I thought I'll add it because it'll look good. And I think I didn't bring in the colors here, but don't worry, I will provide them in the link in the color palette so that you can download them as well. So I'm going to choose some yellow like that. And obviously it'll definitely be the contact crayon. I think I like that brush a lot. And let's draw something like this and you should know that blue and yellow are really good complementary colors uh, they look great when they are paired together so it's good to have some yellow right around your blue strawberry so that it looks nice and let's go ahead and choose a little bit orangish color and draw some like this like i told you you don't really need to give this background it's totally optional Okay, so once you're done, you can sign your name here. I'm just going to click on that. Go back to your rough pencil. I think I really like it. You can actually sign your name. You don't have to do it on the background color, by the way. That's one more thing you need to know. You could also create a stamp brush to give a stamp effect, like watermark all your images. If you don't know how to create a stamp brush, I have a tutorial on that. Do go check it out. Maybe I'll link it in the description box below as well. There you go, your final artwork is ready. And once you're done, click on share, publish and export. You can export as, as a PNG and export it and save it to your device. Or you can airdrop it to your other Apple devices as well. And um, that's it, that brings us to the end of this tutorial. And I hope you really liked it. I know this was simple, but I thought I'll show you how to use different brushes and do something very simple this time. If you like this tutorial, please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And also hit on that notification bell so that you get informed every time I post a new video. And I guess I'll see you in the next video then. Bye-bye.